Hi guys, this is Farz and welcome to another color grading, another editing tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'll show you how to edit a golden hour portrait. Golden hour is always my favorite time. Uh, I love the color tone, I love the orange color, orange light of sun. So I love this tutorial very much. I love this technique very much. So no more talking, let's get started. <laughs> Okay, today we'll edit this picture, we'll color grade this picture. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful picture. Okay, at first I want to do some retouching. For this I want to um, apply action, not action, apply plugin, maybe. Okay, I'm using the skin final. You can use any method of retouching like uh, skin separation or action, whatever you want, whatever you like, you can use. So this is very quick, so I'm using this, okay. So at first I need to um, select the skin. So like this, select the skin tone. And here you can see your selected area. I think yeah, it's fine. I think yeah, the area is selected now. Okay. Before and after. Okay. And I have to reduce the fine to preserve the texture. So, yeah. I'm giving around minus 25. Okay. That's fine. And brightness contrast highlights. I think. I think they are perfect. Okay. Okay. When you're done, press OK. So the retouching is done. Um, okay, now I have to do color grade. So for this, um, make a copy of the background layer by pressing Ctrl and J, and then convert it to a smart object. Okay, that's fine. And now open it on camera or filter. Okay, now come into the basics option. And I have to increase the temperature just later. So I'm giving plus one for this. Okay. Uh, and I had to increase the exposure also. So let's try with this. I think plus 0 0.45 is looking good. It's not too bright, not too dark. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, decrease the highlights. Maybe around minus 15. That's fine. And then let's increase the shadows. I think around plus 15. That's fine. And then I want to decrease the black just a little, so minus three for black. And I want to increase the clarity. So here I'm giving around plus 25, yeah, that's fine. And then let's increase the vibrance, just a one, and decrease the saturation around, I think, minus 20. Okay, that's fine. And now come into the curves option. Okay, we'll do the curves things later, okay. So come into the detail option. And let's increase the sharpness just a little around 25. Okay, that's fine. Increase the detail maybe around 30. That's fine. Okay, now we'll apply masking option and press and hold Alt and click and drag. Now you can see where the sharpness is applied. So I'm giving around 78. That's fine. And now let's keep around 25 in the color noise reduction. That's fine. Now come into the uh, color mixer option and come into the saturation panel. Okay, I have to increase the saturation of boring. So here I'm giving around uh, 30 plus 30. Also plus around 50 for yellow. That's fine. And then I have to decrease the green. Not too much. I think minus 19 or minus 20 is fine and increase the aquas around 50 that's fine and increase the blues also so here i'm giving around uh 36 for blue that's fine okay so the uh, color mixer is also done now come into the color grading option and in the shadows okay let's choose i think let's increase it i think little bit orangish colors you know the golden hour color so in hue i'm giving 32 the orange color and i think i should decrease the saturation around 20 
yeah that's fine okay and give 100 to blending and then minus 36 in balance that's fine now come into the highlights option and in this case i want to use a kill little bit of yellowish color this time so here i'm giving a 63 in case of you and let's increase the saturation look at this look at the color now wow it looks really good this is just a simple option the color grading option it can change your whole picture the look of your picture so this option is very much important and now it is more updated and useful i have already made a tutorial of this particular option the color grading option i have talked everything in color grading so if you want you can check this tutorial from here or link is on the description okay now let's get back to the editing that's good okay let's increase the saturation so here i am giving uh, around 45 looking good look at the color it looks really good okay that's fine now come into the effects option and here and create just a little vignette effect so here i am giving minus uh, 14 and then midpoint i think around 33 that's good and feather around 65 okay that's good it's looking nice and increase the highlights around 30 okay let's do it 50 uh, yeah it's fine now press Q to see the before and after look at this look at the color look at this it's really beautiful look at this it's i love this color too so the color grading is done okay now press okay and now see the before and after look at this this was the before and this is after it's a very easy tutorial i just use camera to color grade this mainly the color grading option so it's it's a really easy technique to uh, create some kind of tone it's very useful okay uh, i think this part is little bit distracting to me uh, so i should crop this one okay pick the crop tool and i think yeah, this would be fine i think i should reduce this part too okay I think yeah, it's fine now press enter okay if you want you can add some fake light here also okay let's create a new layer uh, pick the brush and let's choose little bit orange color it's totally orange color yeah and let's increase the brush size and paint change the blending mode to a screen okay that's good to me press ctrl and t and resize and reposition this look at this look at the glow i think yeah it's fine look at this this was the before and this is after i love this glow yeah Okay, let's see the before and after overall this was the before and this is after it's a really easy tutorial and by this method you can create beautiful golden hour effect i hope you love this tutorial if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe